Meghan Markle breaks another royal rule by trying to hold Prince Harry's hand. Etiquette experts around the world are coming for Meghan Markle again. The Duchess of Sussex was slammed for forgetting to do her Duchess slant, a posture in which the legs are crossed at the ankle rather than the knee, during the young leader's reception at Buckingham Palace early this week. Now she's accused of trying to hold Prince Harry's hand during the same event. Public displays of affection, even ones as minor as holding hands, have been deemed inappropriate for members of the royal family. A clip of the moment in question shows Meghan sticking her hand out in Prince Harry's direction. When her hand got near her husband's arm, he brought his arms together near the center of his body and the pair walked on as though nothing had happened. What's the deal with the royal family's anti-hand holding policy? Check it out. Why can't Meghan Markle and Prince Harry hold hands? There's no specific rule that says Meghan, 36 and Prince Harry can't touch in public. As body language expert Robin Kermode previously noted, it's more of a precedent set by the Queen for the rest of the family to follow. The Queen rarely holds hands with her husband in public and this seems to have set an unwritten precedent for the other royals, he said. It is very clear that William and Kate are emotionally close, however, they do not seem to feel the need to prove their love particularly when on official state business. What is the Duchess slant? The Duchess slant is a posture often practiced by Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton. It involves crossing your legs at the ankle and setting them off to one side. Royal protocol dictates that a woman should not cross her legs one over the other during public events. In fact, Meghan was recently accused of being disrespectful to the Queen for doing it at the young leader's reception at Buckingham Palace. The rule stems from etiquette standards which state that royal women should keep their legs and knees together. Mike Amir told People the Duchess slant is used when a lady has to sit for an extended amount of time while keeping poise and posture. She added, it's the perfect pose for when a camera is shooting directly in front of you because by slightly slanting the knees to create a zigzag effect when wearing a dress or skirt, your legs are angled so that the camera only shoots the sides of your legs and protects your modesty. This was considered Meghan's first major faux pas. Meghan Markle pink dress Meghan Markle was photographed at a Buckingham Palace event hosted by the Queen on Tuesday wearing a light pink Prada dress. The dress featured a belt accent. She completed the look with black aquazura heels. Meghan Markle shoes too big. Eagle-eyed royal fanatics recently noticed that Meghan Markle appeared to be wearing shoes a size too big at Royal Ascot, which she attended with Prince Harry and the Queen. Photos from other events, including Tuesday's celebration at Buckingham Palace, suggest she's been doing this for a while now and there's a genius reason for it. Fashion expert Harriet Davy said that many celebrities buy their heels a size too big to avoid blisters and other such problems at events that require lots of standing or walking. She told The Sun, celebs often go a size up, or even two in the shoe department when they're at an event or on the red carpet and it's for one reason we can all relate it to, to avoid blisters. There's nothing worse than uncomfortable shoes, we've all been there on a night out, and when celebs like Meghan are wearing heels for a long period of time their feet can often swell up. Harriet went on, the swelling can cause blisters and in the long run bunions, like longtime heel fan Victoria Beckham has been rumored to suffer with.